So there are different ways to approach this problem. Um, the way that I would approach it is I would put 3 in for x, or 13, excuse me. So I'm going to go 13 squared plus b times 13 minus 21 over negative 5 times positive 13 minus 35. Okay, 13 squared is um, 169 plus 13b minus 21. 13 times 5 is 65 minus 35. So I'm just simplifying right now. These two are the same. So that would be 148 plus 13b over 30. And I feel like that's as simplified as I can do equals negative 2. So now that I simplified this side, I'm going to acknowledge the other side. Okay. So at this point, what I would do now is, um, oops, I made a mistake. Sorry, because I got confused. A negative times a positive is a negative. So that should be negative 100. Let's try that again. Okay, now I'm going to solve this thing. So I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 100. And then that'll cancel that. And I'm left with 148 plus 13b equals 200. Subtract 148. 13b equals 52, divide by 13. I know I have half a clue, hopefully, because it ends up with a whole number, okay? So now I got my b. So now I'm going to take this b and I'm going to plug it in there. Oh, never mind. That's all I have to do is find the value of b. So b equals 4. Now, let's say I wanted to check it. Let's say I wanted to make sure I was actually right. I could actually plug it in. So I would go x squared plus 4x minus 21 over negative 5x minus 35, and I'm going to see if it equals negative 2, okay? So I know I could factor this. This is if you want to check it, okay? And then negative 5x plus 7, those are gone. And then I'd be left with x minus 3 over negative 5 equals negative 2. Multiply both sides by negative 2, which is 10. And then I'd end up with x minus 3 equals 10, Add 3, add 3, my x is 13, so I know I did it right. You don't have to check it, but I can't help myself. I had to show it. Okay, so describe at least two differences between the graphs. So here's what I'm going to do. You give me two, I'm a happy girl. You give me more, you're going to get bonus, okay, if there happens to be more. However many differences there happen to be, that's how many points of bonus you're going to get. So I'm going to write VA, HA, Oops, H-A, I do in blue. Find my blue. <clears throat> my zeros. This is just the way I'm doing it. You don't have to do it this way, of course. And the previous page, we talked about the y-intercept, so I'm going to write the y-intercept. That's the zero comma something. Okay. All right. So my VA, I set the denominator equal to zero. So this is x equals three x equals 3, no difference. My ha is based on the leading coefficient. So this, in this case, f of x is um, y equals 1, because they're the same, 1 divided by 1. In this case, this one's bigger, so there is no ha. That's one difference right there. My zeros are based on my numerator. In the top, um, my, oops, my 0 is negative 6 comma 0, but in the denominator, when I factor x minus 3, x plus 3, I get 3, 0, and negative 3, 0. So you give me these two things, and I'm a happy girl. But if you want to give me more, then we can do that. So I'll plug in 0. So if I plug in 0, 0 plus 6 is 6. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. So 0, negative 2 is my y-intercept. Um, I plug in 0 here. 0 minus 9 is negative 9. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Negative 9 divided by negative 3 is 3. There's another difference. You can get bonus for that. Something else I just realized is there is a whole. So if you look here, f of x doesn't have one because there's no repeat. So there is no whole. But here, for the x minus 3 and the x plus 3, there is a whole at 3 comma something. Um, and then when you plug in and you simplify, you get x plus 3, and then 3 plus 3 is 6. 
So here, if this was the answer, let's say, or this was the test, you would have an opportunity of two points bonus. Now, if you give me more than two, but they're not correct, I'm only going to look for the two that are correct. Okay? So let's say you think these are exactly the same. I'm not going to count it against you. I'm only going to focus on two differences. But they have to be correct differences, okay? All right. Um, write a possible equation. Um, since I said equation, I can write y equals it. Um, oh, no. Nope. It says, our, it, it writes a rational function, so it's f of x equals. Okay. I'm going to do a big old fraction line. Vertical asymptotes. So my vertical is based on my denominator, and I always have to do the opposite. So x minus 2, and then an x in front. It's going to be a little bit messy here. I'm probably going to be rewriting it. My horizontal asymptote is 3 quarters. Now remember, it's a whole number when, um, like we did up here, right? The x's were exactly the same. Let me zoom that in a little bit. So remember when the degree was exactly the same, you just go this divided by this. So that means the degree of these two need to be exactly the same, and there should be a 3 on top and a 4 on bottom. I'll be remaking this because it's kind of ugly. Let me just go like this, okay? And then so now that's good. That's my HA. And then the whole is at x minus 1. So if there's a whole at x minus 1, that means that's my repeat. So that would be parenthesis x minus 1. Always do the opposite, x minus 1. And the x-intercepts are based on my zeros, and my zeros were, is what's in the numerator. So always do the opposite, x minus 3, x plus 2. So those are my zeros. So let me rewrite it to make it look a little bit nicer. So f of x equals 3 parentheses. And the order doesn't matter, but you need to make sure that all of these are on top. And the order does not matter, okay? And that's what I want. Okay. So normally I say, okay, figure this stuff out. But this time I'm saying, here's it figured out. Give me the function. Right. Okay, so they're both solving this. June says the answer is 2, but April says no solution. Who's correct? So um, I need you to show me um, more than just going, hey, if you plug in 2, it is no solution. I need you to show me that you would have gotten two, and then after you get two, you plug it in and it doesn't work. So I don't even know if you're going to get two. The answer might be x equals three. So you've got to show your work in that way. Remember when it's um, an equation, you're doing your parentheses. So x minus two, x minus two, x minus two. When I do that, these x minus twos are gone. Nothing is gone here, and these x minus twos are gone. So all I'm left with in the numerator is 5x. Distribute the 7 to the x and the 7 to the negative 2. And then everything's gone, plus 10. Simplify and move the 7x over. I'm doing it all. Oops, I'm sorry, you can't see that. Let me make that look better. So I said move this over and put these two together. So I get negative 2x equals negative 4. x equals 2. But then when you take 2 and you plug it in, um, 10 over 0 is undefined. That's why it's no solution. So I'm a definitely more of a math teacher, so I like showing my math work versus writing. But you need to show, again, you can't just plug in 2 and write, well, it doesn't work because it's no solution. You need to show that you have the ability to get 2. Then once you get 2, you see that um, it doesn't work. So it says, who is correct? So who is correct? April is correct is correct okay and the mistake was made here here's the mistake you better show that clearly if I'm asking these questions and I can't find the answers to them they're just wrong okay show how you know that this has no solution so it's just asking me to solve it well something I see here is I see if you have an equal sign and you have the exact same thing on one side and the exact same thing on the other side, you can actually just cancel them because when you do the opposite, it would go away. So I'd just be left with 3x equals 9 divided by 3x equals 3. Why is it no solution? Because when you plug 3 in, 1 over 3 minus 3 is 1 over 0, which is undefined. And that's why it's no solution. Make sure that is clear to me. Okay, I don't just go this and this undefined. I need to be able to see clearly, just like this. These are very similar. 